In this video, we're going to be talking about mental health and estrangement, mothers and daughters. Hi, I'm Marie Morin. I'm a therapist and a wellness coach. Let's get started. There are many contributors in addition to mental health, and we know that there's rarely just one contributor to cut off. So you're going to want to watch my video, 11 Reasons Why Adult Kids Cut Ties. So that has a wider scope of the reasons that contribute to estrangement. There are five ways that mental health contributes to the mother-daughter estrangement. So mental health challenges can be isolating and in this way can make it really hard for mom and daughter to connect. For example, if someone is feeling very depressed, it may be very hard for them. It may almost feel impossible for them to reach out to their mom or to reach out to their daughter. And there can be this rift that happens because someone isn't reaching out. This can lead to feelings of frustration, anger, and loneliness. And the second reason why is a lack of understanding of the diagnosis of the illness of the symptoms. So for example, what if your adult daughter has any of the symptoms of anxiety, depression, or a diagnosis such as borderline personality disorder or bipolar disorder? In this case, your adult child is distressed. They're having certain things that are going on for them that don't feel good. They haven't chosen this. Well, you could possibly be pressuring, asking a lot of questions, all well-meaning, wanting to know how your kid is, but if they're in distress, they may not be able to communicate it or may not want to communicate because of what's going on. And that's okay because we can respect that our adult child has the right to not talk to someone if they need the space, correct? So if this is happening, it can create misunderstandings and conflict or distress and then help to separate and create a rift in the relationship between the mother and the daughter. And the third thing is mental health challenges can sometimes change the dynamic of the roles. For example, let's suppose that the child has a substance use problem and the parent has to drive them to their rehab and this creates this resentment that they always have to be there or maybe they're financially in trouble and the parents have to pay for things and there's this resentment being fostered and the adult child may feel like they're a burden and this rift occurs because there's just this breakdown in communication and in the way that they relate with one another. And the fourth thing is, is there's a stigma surrounding mental health that can also make it difficult for mothers and daughters to discuss their experiences openly. They may feel ashamed and judged, leading to further distance and avoidance of the relationship. And the fifth reason that in some cases, mental health challenges can actually exacerbate. It can make existing conflicts even worse. If someone has a diagnosis and they're upset in the first place and the other party isn't really understanding, all of these different things can align in order to really wreak havoc on unresolved conflicts and issues. These conflicts can become even more challenging leading to estrangement. Research tells us that there are many reasons why adult children estrange. So you're going to want to watch my video on 11 reasons why adult children cut ties. This will give you a broader lens of all of the reasons because likely there were a number of different things that participated in what occurred for your adult child and why they have estranged. So let's dive into how unresolved conflicts from the past can be exacerbated when there's mental illness and some of these scenarios that could happen. So let's talk about how 
unresolved conflict in the past and anxiety. So if an adult child has anxiety and perhaps the mom also has anxiety and between the mom's overbearing, worrying about what's going on with the adult child, this can create such a tension between them that it's more comfortable for the adult child to avoid the relationship and pull away. Mental health challenges can also bring up new conflicts that were not present before. For example, if the mother is dealing with depression and needs to just take time for herself and the daughter is expecting the mother to be present for whether she's watching the children or helping out or being that mom that's always been there and she can't be for a while because of the depression the mother has experienced, it can create problems in the relationship if they have not been able to be upfront and honest with each other and be able to communicate this. When mental health challenges, and this includes feelings of sadness, depression, anxieties, when they come up, it can create an atmosphere of just a lot more tension between a mother and a daughter. Each is dealing with their own struggles, whether it's a mental health diagnosis or not. Everyone has their own struggles. And it would be great if we can all get together and be a do kumbaya as mother and daughter. And it doesn't always work that way. Sometimes a daughter has her own things going on in her family, with her kids, with her spouse and her job, and the mother having her thing going on, and it just becomes so tense or so strained that the relationship loses its closeness and things break down. This can lead to feelings of hurt and rejection and a lot of pain for both parties. A study by Lenardin and Chate of 2019 found that parental eating disorders were associated with a higher likelihood of their offspring developing eating disorder psychopathology. Negative attitudes around food can create conflict and strain in the mother daughter relationship, potentially leading to estrangement. In keeping with eating disorders, there's another study by Gorel and Murray, 2019, suggesting that eating disorders in mothers may impact the way they parent and contribute to a lack of emotional attunement towards their daughters. And the study goes on to say that this lack of emotional support can lead to a breakdown in communication and ultimately contribute to mother and daughter estrangement. Therefore, recognizing the impact of mothers with eating disorders on adult daughters estrangement may be an essential step towards repairing relationships. So this added strain, whether it's an eating disorder, whether it's anxiety, depression, a diagnosis such as bipolar disorder, this added strain can really make it more difficult to cope with existing conflicts, bring up past conflicts, unresolved conflicts. It could just really have a problematic effect on a relationship. How do you cope with mental health challenges, whether it's you who are struggling or your mother or your adult daughter? Well, the first thing is to consider seeking therapy. A therapist can provide a non-judgmental, safe space to process, to talk, hopefully to get feedback as well. There's a lot of stuff that goes on in the mother-daughter relationship and any unresolved conflict would benefit by having conversations with someone that is skilled, that can help you process, to see outside the box, and also to help you grow. It helps to speak to someone that might be able to help you learn how to better communicate if you're agitated, if you're upset, if perhaps your expectations are a bit off for your adult child or your parent. So going to seek help is a really good idea. And the second thing is, is to practice self-care. So this is much more than just 
making one special day. This is an intentional lifestyle that says that you matter. For example, doing things like prayer, meditation, breathing exercises, yoga nidra, which teaches the body how to self-regulate. These all help us to just get out of this fight or flight that we're in because we're in a challenging time, whether you have mental health issues or your loved one does or not, these are challenging times and learning how to care for yourself in this way is really going to help you, especially in times like these and if you are estranged. And the third thing is, is to educate yourself on mental health and estrangement. Learn about what's going on with your daughter. If your adult daughter is has a diagnosis, whether it's addictions or something like depression or anxiety, learn about it. Find yourself growing your empathy muscle. Understand what they're going through, not because you're going to monitor them, but because you're going to grow empathy so you understand them better. This will help you to be more supportive. And this can help reduce misunderstandings that can occur if you don't know what's going on for your adult child. And the fourth thing is, is respect their boundaries. So when an adult child is dealing with either depression, anxiety, whatever the case may be, they are in a state of distress. If they ask for space and need some time, or aren't taking your calls, give them the space that they need. Pushing their boundaries and forcing yourself on them may exacerbate what they're feeling. They may just need some time to kind of get themselves together to feel better. And working on yourself, as we discussed earlier, and taking care of yourself will help you to deal with the loss of the relationship status while you're waiting. Take care of yourself get yourself stronger. And number five, practice forgiveness. Now, forgiveness is a complex but wonderful tool and it's spiritual but also has been researched to show that people that have forgiven just have better health outcomes, they feel better. This doesn't mean that you minimize any harm that was done. However, it's a process of letting go of resentment so that you can move forward and lead a happier and healthier life. And the sixth thing is, is to reach out for support. So we know that people who are in relationship with others, they aren't isolated, but they're hanging around other people. They have people that they love and that they love them and they feel like they belong in this group. These people do well. They have good health outcomes. They feel better mentally and emotionally. This is really important. Join a group, be around those who love and value you. So remember, healing from estrangement is a process that takes time. Be patient with yourself and your daughter and focus on building a healthy and positive relationship moving forward. We'll see you in the next video.